So you've already seen that the speed of a wave can be described by the equation v is equal to f lambda. Now for a wave along a string, there's also another equation that can describe the speed. We can write that v is equal to the square root of t on mu, where t in this case is the tension, which is a force, so measured in newtons, and mu is the mass per unit length of the piece of string. So this is measured in kilograms per meter. Now usually the tension will be provided by a hanging mass, so it can be calculated as the weight of that hanging mass. So let's have a look at how we could use this equation to solve a problem now. So this question is, you have 5 metres of rope with a 20 kilogram mass hanging from the end. The rope has a total mass of 200 grams. How long does it take the pulse to travel along the rope? Okay, so to answer this one, we're going to need to use our equation that the speed is equal to the square root of the tension over the mass per unit length. Now, in this case, the mass per unit length is just the mass divided by the length. We're told the mass is 200 grams. So in SI units, that's 0 0.200 kilograms and the length is 5 meters. So the mass per unit length is 0 0.040 kilograms per meter. We then need to work out the tension in the string. The tension is caused by this hanging mass. So the tension is just the weight force, which is mg. So that's 20 times 9.8, and solving that we get 196 newtons. Okay, so now we've got our tension and our mass per unit length. So we can solve to get our speed. So we've got 196 divided by 0 0.040. We enter this into the calculator and we end up with 70 meters per second. So now we know how fast this pulse is traveling. But we're not asked for the speed. What we're asked for is how long does it take? So what we'll need to use is speed is equal to distance over time and we can rearrange this to get our time which is what we want is equal to the distance over the speed and we know the distance it has to travel is along the rope and the rope is five meters long so the distance is the five meters and the speed is 70 meters per second so that tells us that the answer is going to be 0.071 seconds and I've given that to two significant figures because, well, we, we don't know if this 20 kilograms is given to one or two significant figures so we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and assume two. So we've answered to two significant figures there.